Today we are going to unbox the Ipsy Glam Bag Plus for the month of March. This is the very last Glam Bag Plus ever. Cause as of April, Ipsy and Boxy are officially merging. If you haven't seen all the details, all the updates, the differences between one website and the other, the changes I've noticed, my experience behind the scene, you need to go watch the video I put up yesterday and the one that I put up before that on the updates. That'll get you up to speed on everything that's happening before between the two brands, the merge, what's gonna happen, what's expected, and all that jazz. But yeah, as of April, this will be called the Boxy Charm by Ipsy Box. Oh my goodness. So I'm gonna quickly review all my product, show you guys the card, and we're gonna move on to the try on piece. March, step into your power. This month is an all out celebration of women's empowerment. And then when you open it up, it says, cheers to living your best life. I like the bag. I think it's cute. From what I'm understanding, they will no longer be featuring bags as like the extra thing in the box, but they are gonna make bags available. So in the event that you still wanted a bag, you can add it. I don't know if that'll be considered an add on or if it'll be basically like part of your choices or something, but I know they're removing the bags. And if you're not aware, these boxes go for basically $28 every single month. You're paying $1.99, the processing and the packaging of your box and all that stuff. So that's kind of like a shipping fee, even though it's not being called a shipping fee. Also, it's really cool because now Ipsy is like shipping out the bigger boxes to Canada. So this merge has become kind of like a good thing because even Canadians are able to partake on all this beautiful beauty box goodness. So item number one is a brush. My brush came crooked. It's nothing that just wetting it and letting it dry won't fix. Either way, I disinfect my brushes prior to using them, so it's fine, but this is supposed to be a setting brush and it is by Shayna B. It is a, it looks like it's like a Miami brand. I think it's cute. Then I ended up getting this here, which it's kind of like bizarre to me because I just got the full on PR package with all of the poor professional skin skincare product. So I'm gonna set this over to the side and I won't be opening this one and the one that you see me try will be the one that I got in PR because I wanna set this over to the side in the event that somebody hasn't tried it. I can always add this to the giveaway, but this is the Titan Toned Pore Refining AHA PHA Toning Foam. Then I ended up getting the Juice Beauty Green Apple Age Defy Serum. No, I haven't tried this before. I was gonna say, if it's coming in like that gray packaging, you know, you know, the cylindrical one. Is cylindrical a word? I don't think so. But you know, it's like a cylinder and it has a little like pump thing. Then we would have already tried that, but this is new to me. So I got that. Let me put this in the trash because I just cleaned the studio and I'm trying to keep it clean. Then I ended up getting this here. It is the Saturday Skin Yuzu Vitamin C Slim sleep mask. I got it a long time ago. Do I know where it is? No. Do I still have it? Maybe. It comes with a little applicator, but this is what it looks like. Behind the scenes, I am gonna check really quickly in my skincare drawer. If it's in there, I'll use that one. If it's not, then of course I'll use this one. And then last but not least, I got a Wander Beauty palette. By the way, if you're new here, I have no makeup on my face and that's because I try the product on. I kinda wanna bring you guys up close and personal and show you how everything feels, works, and all that goodness. I'm actually pretty excited for this. This palette is the palette that was selected by Ipsy for me for my paid Glam Bag Plus. So I get to try her right now. And the one that I get in my box, I'll just add to a giveaway. So that's pretty cool. That is what it looks like. So we are going to be applying the eyeshadows on the eyes and then the face powders on lip face. I like the size of it. I'm going to Miami this weekend, so maybe I'll just take this. Quick update, my Yuzu mask. I don't know what happened to it, so I'm just gonna show you guys really quickly. I'm assuming I gave it to a family member who liked it. This is a mask. You're supposed to leave it on your skin. I'm gonna be applying makeup, so I do not want my makeup to get all funky looking because this is gonna be really emollient. So I'll just kind of show you guys a close-up of what she looks like on the inside, and I'll dip my finger into it. It looks chunky, but it doesn't feel chunky on the skin, and it has a very, very, very mild fragrance to the point that you really, really gotta sniff it in order to notice whether or not it has a fragrance. I remember liking it. I don't remember what happened to it. So I'm gonna assume I gave it to somebody. Here's another thing, you guys. This is the one I got in Ipsy and this is the full size that I got from Benefit. They're definitely two different sizes. So the question is, is this a jumbo? Is this a full? I'm gonna put it here on screen 
but this is definitely not travel. So I don't get it. The size difference is massive, in my opinion. We're gonna start off with the toning foam. I've never toned with a foam before, so that's pretty different and exciting. My face is clean, but I haven't applied like my moisturizer or any skincare or anything like that, so this is like perfect. I am going to foam it, foam it, foam it. Oh, oh, I don't know how much, because usually I spray with the spray and call it a day. It's not necessarily fragrance. It's one of those things like I want to smell it something, but I don't foam. That's so different. I think it's cool. Let's, I hope I'm doing this right. Oh, I never actually read directions, I should. We have toned our skin as per usual when doing skincare. Oh my God, te pelito. Uh, you should let your skincare kind of sit. So I'm gonna give it a minute and while that's happening, I'm gonna turn on my Elio's mirror so that I'll bring it up close and personal. It'll brighten my face because right now that sun is beaming through the window and is making it like, I don't know, for me, it's a little darker up here. Now we're gonna move on to the Juice Beauty Green Apple Age Defy Serum. The back says, apply after cleansing, apply one to two pumps of serum to the entire face and neck. So it doesn't say do it with or without like, Makeup, so we're gonna apply her now. I'm gonna do this that much because less is more when you're applying makeup on top of product. And again, I'm not putting it on my neck because guess what? I am just gonna apply makeup for a few hours and then it's coming off because we are having a full day today. Not a pull, pull, pull a pull day. Okay, oh, this smells really pretty. Girl, I almost did my entire face forgetting that we had the Wonder Beauty palette. So I'm glad I remembered. I powdered my under eyes if you want to see what product I use and you want tips and tricks on how to get a seamless, beautiful, bright under eye or even a smooth under eye. I ended up doing a wear test of the Gerard Cosmetics powders. The tips and tricks I share within that video apply to all powders. However, you do get to see the new powders in, at, that is, that is a lash. There's a lash stuck to this. You do get to see the powders in action. And I'm gonna dip into Tahiti, which is a beautiful shade. I'm hoping, I'm gonna like make sure my brush is completely saturated. I'm gonna tap out. That's a beautiful color. So I wanna make sure that I have most of the product all over the skin and then I'll blend. So see what I'm doing? I'm just applying product without being perfect. And I'm using a big fluffy brush because I'm not trying to sculpt. I'm really bronzing the skin up. That is a beautiful shade. It might be a little too dark for some people, but I think if you go fairly lightweight, it's gonna work. I haven't dipped back in because it's not necessary. And then around here, I'm gonna go around in circular motions. You know what I just noticed? I didn't freaking use this. And that's because I use a powder puff, but it's fine. You know what? We're just gonna use this for the blush and call it a day. So I'll kind of apply Paloma, which is the name of the blush, tap out. I'll tap it here. That's kind of like enough. I don't wanna be super dramatic today. It's fluffy enough to where you can multitask this brush, use it in different ways. I'm gonna use the same brush and I'm gonna dip into the highlighter, just a little bit of glow. And then we have to use the eyeshadow colors. I'm gonna keep her simple. You guys are gonna be like, wow, that's simple, but it's still gonna be pretty. I have to prep the lids. Have you guys noticed how my lids, as I'm getting older, they're getting greasy, greasy, which is annoying. So I'm gonna use a little bit of my clean canvas. I like this palette because it's kind of like a one and done. So watch what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go into Villa, which is their matte, and I'm gonna tap Villa in here. Does it need to be perfect? Absolutely no. And I'm gonna grab the same brush. I'm gonna dip into Tahiti, and I am going to apply Tahiti on the crease. There's more than enough product on the brush for both eyes. And then I'll go in circular motions on the crease as well. Yeah, this palette is definitely going to Miami with me. It just makes sense. It's easy to work with. And I'm gonna grab the same brush and I'm gonna mix Boardwalk and Santorini. Now here you would even wanna make sure that you tap out because it shimmers and your skin is already done. So I'm gonna take those two, mix those here like that. With a clean fluffy brush, I'm diffusing. These are so pigmented, it's insane. With whatever's left on the brush, I'm gonna drag that under the eye. See, like there's enough product in there to where I don't have to dip back in and the eye is pretty much 
done when it comes to eyeshadows. I'm gonna apply a brown liner. I've received Pixie, this one in particular, and then the black one in the uh, Ipsy bags in the past, and I love Pixie, so I figured why not? It just makes sense, and I went brown versus black. Black intensifies any look and makes it look extra dramatic, but I feel like brown adds that extra without being too, too, too much. And then I'm gonna apply a black liner directly on the lash line here, and then I'll lightly smudge that out. I could go in with a wing, but I don't want to. I just want to add a little bit of depth out here. That way when I apply mascara, it just looks a little extra dramatic. And here are the eyes. I could most definitely dramatize the eye by applying some falsies, accent lashes on the outer corners, but I wanted to show you guys because I know so many of you guys don't like wearing falsies, at least not every single day or just like at all. So I wanted to show you that the look would come out really, really pretty, even if you were just to do like two to three coats of mascara. This is two coats of the HD Volumizing Mascara by Ofra Cosmeticos and the eyes are everyday wearable, easy to put together like I told you guys and it's like a one and done it really with this palette. I like this so far, but we've got thoughts, girl. It is time for my product roundup and feedback, like my final thoughts now that I've tried the products. This brush is really soft, it's really nice. She's still a little slanted. I don't know, I, I'll fix it though. Very nice brush, I'm not mad at her, and she did a really beautiful, seamless job with blending out my blush and my highlighter. This product over here, the Yuzu, I'm going to uh, apply her as a mask for the next few nights, just to kind of remember what it was like, but I received it in BoxyCharm like a while, a while, a while ago, and it was actually really nice. This toning mousse was different. I'm not gonna lie to you, I think it was kind of fun. The idea that you don't necessarily have to spray your face. It was different. I really liked this. I feel like this in conjunction with other skincare products, like my makeup still looks really, really seamless and flawless and pretty. So this is a yes for me. And again, it's innovative. The packaging is different. I like this. I like that it's a mousse. I never thought someone would do toning mousse, like a toning mousse. That's different. So yes. The Age Defy Serum. Listen, when it comes to Juice Beauty, they have really great products. So I am not going to say no to anything Juice Beauty. And no, I am not a 100% lover of skincare, but you know, we have to start taking care of our skin. And so being that we're getting these in beauty, boxes like I'm not gonna be mad at it because I know these things are highly priced I can't tell you whether or not this is something that my skin is going to be obsessed with because you know skincare it's a thing where you have to try for a long period of time in order to notice any progression it worked beautifully with my makeup and other products so we're we're good there that's a high five for me and then this palette I am so happy for her it makes me happy that I was able to use her before a lot of the boxes are going out. That way you guys get an idea as to a simple look that you can create with just this palette. It's beautiful. And Wanda Beauty is always doing their thing. So it's a thumbs up for me. Now when we're gonna look at the whole variation, right? This is a tool and this is the makeup product. Everything else was skincare. I typically would say I want a nice balance and or I want more makeup over skincare. To this day, I will say that because there were so many other options that could have been added to this variation to where there would be more makeup. But Remember, this is a PR box, therefore it was sent to me. I don't get to choose products for the box. So setting aside my experience with the product because it was a positive experience with the product, what happened to the makeup? Like, I'm still gonna say that, what happened to the makeup? Since I paid for my Glam Bag Plus for the month of March, I know I'm getting hella makeup in that one. So in my PR, I pretty much got skincare and then my paid box is all makeup. I'm not mad at it at all, because I get like a nice, healthy medium for the month, if you will. And if you haven't seen my full box reveal, no, I didn't get my paid box yet, but I was able to make my choice. I gave you guys updates on things that I've seen, you know, here and there, differences on BoxyCharm, as well as Ipsy website, and then I showed you guys the behind the scenes is what my experience was as a paid customer making my choices for Ipsy Glam Bag Plus. And so if you haven't seen that video, go check it out. That way you get a full review of what my paid box is going to be for the month of March. But girl, I'm not mad at her. I'm actually really excited that everything worked here, and now I'm excited to try my paid box. But you guys know I wanna hear your thoughts, so make sure you have chimed in down below, and if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing to this channel. Hit the notification bell and the like button for me, please, that way you'll never miss any future uploads. All right, you guys, I really hope you have enjoyed today's video. Stay tuned, tomorrow we have the Ipsy Glam Bag reveal. I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye, guys.